Hi there. Welcome to Jen's World Tarot. And uh, I've had Russia on my mind. Russia, Russia, Russia. Biden expelled a lot of Russians. Quietly. We have Russians in our local state, federal government. We have Americans that have turned working for the Russians, unwittingly working for the Russians. They're pretty mired in our politics, but you all know that. Um, I had this interesting vision. I was in the bubble ship and um, I was in front of a waterfall. It was really beautiful. I was hanging out there watching and then um, I pulled back and then I saw water droplets, I'm just watching these droplets of water. And it was dark, and so that I could really see the droplets. And so I was like, oh, this is nice. I'm going to hang here. And then I heard in this ear, no. And then I pulled back, and um, it was one big drop one big water droplet and falling into a, a black pool. And then the focus became on the shock wave where the droplet hit the water and then, you know, the shock wave billows out. And that was what I was really focused in on. And then the pool turned into the United States, like a map of the US, all black and the lines of the states were Pac-Man dots. And then here comes Pac-Man, just eating all the dots, made its way back over to the right side of the map. So if you're looking straight on, it's the right side. And uh, all these radio towers and satellite dishes started to spring up. And then that was it. So in reflection, I think that's the whole Q thing, you know, Q drops, right? The big drops of the big nuggets of information that are dropped and the Q people take that and then regurgitate it. I think what I was seeing was how that information is dropped, but it still is passed down. So you may not be a Q person, but how people still are um, swayed by that information. I think I was just watching the physical manifestation of that. And then, you know, seeing the radio towers and the satellite dishes, you know, that on the right hand side, right wing media, um, you know, how all of that misinformation, disinformation is being spread. And um, it just leads me to Liz Cheney today going on Fox TV and just saying it that Fox viewers, you know, we need to um, make sure that we're getting the truth out there, you know, not repeating the big lie the Trump really won or there's a conspiracy you know, that Biden stole the election and yeah. So I just wanted to throw a few cards on Liz. I have my mermaid deck. I thought it was appropriate because I had the vision of her dad as the, you know, waking sea monster. And, uh, you know, they did vote her out but we knew that would happen and um so i i just want to see how liz is doing how does liz feel because uh seems like she's taking the mantle of a truth warrior cool yeah yeah all right so 
let's more organized here. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, <man>. Okay. <clears throat> That was a wild vision, yeah? Left me very peaceful though. I like that, so. Right, I'm just gonna drop from here. Okay, six cars, we're just starting to do it real quick. Judgment. I love this card. Not pretty. It's like a rebirth. In a calling. Look at her, and she has all those mermaids down below. Call to arms. Oh! The world, isn't that pretty? New opportunity, any opportunity, and she's accomplished something, right? <laughs> Mind man. It's the idea of, I don't know, Trump being suspended. Doesn't look like Trump, but all that crap. I mean, that's what voting her out did. It just, boom, sliced it right down the middle. It's done, it's over. There are two sides to this party now, which is good. That's good for all of us because it means things will change. We need two healthy parties. You know, um, page of cups. Look at him with his little fish. <laughs> yeah, new opportunities coming. So the world, new opportunities in the page of cups. Five of wands, she's marinating in defense. Right? Five of Wands is like conflict, tension. But it looks like she's uh, defending her territory because that's what she's doing now. And then the Nine of Cups, all that possibility, all that opening up, her wishes can come true. Those are beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. So let's see if Liz, let's see if she is going to run in 2024 with all of this, this new path that she's on. Oh, strength. She's wrapping the whale up. Or is she undoing it? No, she's wrapped, well, whatever she's doing, she's touching the whale. I mean, she knows who she is so well that she can be close to the whale. Look at that strength. You know, it's just like in the Rider weight, how, you know, she has the Christ consciousness over her head. She knows herself so well that she can touch the jaws of the lion and he will be, uh, or it, I don't know, will be at peace. Well, Lion is a male, the one that's on the, pictured on the right away. Anyway, whatever. Okay, so King of Swords as her um, basis, mental clarity, uh, intellectual power. Look at her, strong authority. She has the truth. Oh, behind her, the Six of Wands. That's success and 
public recognition. Plus she's eating that fire, right? Knows herself so well. Yeah, she can eat that. <laughs> Celebration in her future, success. More than that, to like a marriage, yeah. <laughs> the Knight of Swords underneath her, the King's kid. <laughs> the ambitious youth. And the Eight of Wands. Fast movement. Look at her, she's got the one wand. A lot of change. It's very action packed. Or she could take a trip. But no, with these cards, Liz Cheney would, I would say she's, you know, if she were sitting right here, I'd say her, you will be the GOP nominee. Or at least running for it. Yeah. But she will be, no, she will be the GOP nominee with these cards. Yes. 2024 for Liz Cheney. She's going to run, but she won't win. I've already seen that. But <laughs> anyway. Thank you so much. And this is for entertainment purposes only. What do I know? All right. Thank you. And please share, like, subscribe. Helps build the channel. I appreciate it. All right. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye.